Happy holidays to all our wonderful viewers out there. We'll be spreading some Christmas cheer with our lineup today. Let's begin by spicing things up with this performance called Strings. Then the beauty of treasuring memories is revealed in this photo exhibition. To Intersection, a group exhibition by four artists. I'm Melinda Kinlami. Let's check out our wordsmith for today, who is spreading light. I'm the light of the world. I'm the woman of this generation. I'm the mother birthing new lights. I'm ready to make a change. I'm here to raise great and passionate future leaders. I know my rights and responsibilities, and I'm not leaving it for anyone else. I'm here to shine light in darkness, to teach and guide in the way of truth, to influence those around me positively, to set wrong things right, to stand for justice and give insight. I'm a light. Yes, we are the light and should always remember that. Chase the blues away and be the light. That's the message that resounds at this group exhibition as well at the Art Affinity Gallery in Lagos. Four contemporary artists are part of this group exhibition bringing different themes and emotions to the Art Affinity Gallery in Lagos. My work uh, generally represents change and transformation because I feel like no matter how bad the situation is, it can change. And that's the reason why I use um, the representation of butterflies in my work. Because seeing a caterpillar transform into a butterfly, it seems so very much impossible. So I see every, every um, subject or every situation I'm trying to talk about in my painting as that, as um, no matter how impossible it may seem, that it can actually change. Some of the images on display document moments and the creatives' lives that were not captured in pictures. So these works of art come to the rescue with a description to accompany each of them as created by Chigo Zeobi, one of the exhibitors. The series I'm presenting for this exhibition is titled Le Journal de Gozi, which means the journal of Chigozi or, or Gozi. And um, basically it speaks about documentation. Uh, when I lost my mom, I realized that I didn't have a lot of photos with her, uh, which was funny because I was always with her as well. And um, I started taking more photos, just documenting my daily life. And I realized that when I started taking portraits, the portraits were kind of similar to the way I paint. So in the way I tell them to stay or like the lighting that hit their faces. And I decided to paint that, but also write about what happened on the day that I took the photo and also who those people are to me. So that it's kind of like encompassed and just like create a journal. Each piece is like a page of my journal. For James Adebayo, he believes that adding sunshine to a cloudy day is the best way to approach life and his unique paintings reveal this in his hot air balloon. So I tend to do more research about old um, invention before the present day um, technology. So I was doing um, uh, research about how um, transportation has been done by hair before the present day plane, uh, aeroplane. Then I get to realize that there is this thing called hot air balloon a craft which works by the increment of the fire. So when you increase the fire, the craft goes higher. And when you increase the fire, the craft goes um, down. So while listening to Chimamanda's um, TED talk, I, I, when she said, we, um, in a society where we tell women that they can grow big, but not too big. So this um, present um, series is just to question that um, societal norms that why, why are limitation placed on women in different sectors. 
So I'm trying to talk about different sectors where I feel women have been marginalized in Nigeria. Even still taking note that this is a global issue. I'm just using Nigeria as a case study for this particular series. Bouquet of Choices is how Claire Idera has coined her collection, which captures intimate moments in people's lives, and Jonathan Chamberlain re-echoes the popular saying that when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. In his series of works called My Moment with My Lemons, the creatives are proud to show off these intersections. All the people that go through me, a lot of African people go through my life. You know, I'm African, I have African experiences. So just delving into the series is going to speak on things more about that. It could be objects, it could be people, it could be things, it could be places. All of this is still going to come into the series. So things that are African, things that are worldwide will all pass through me. This particular piece here, I'm talking about uh, imagination of women in the uh, educational sector. So I'm talking about two different sectors here where I feel women have been marginalized. That is uh, in the northern part of Nigeria, where you see early marriage kind of restricting women to well, all those girls who go to school. You see girls of 13, 12 already getting married, and that will actually hinder them from going to school. And in the southern part, where even that is not even that rampant, there is um, this case of sex for greed, which is very, very, uh, which uh, erupted just of recent that even BBC did an interview on. So those are the kind of uh, societal issues I see, and I like to talk about them because. I'm more expressive with my painting more than writing. So I just felt like I should more like paint about it and bring more awareness to people. And even that, and the reason why there is so much, um, um, diff, uh, so much relating to vintage stuff in my work is because I believe so much in difference between the past and the present so that we can get a better future. The artist's work explores the consequences of choice, importance of documentation, and dares to challenge societal stereotypes. Christmas is all about family. Those precious memories is the focus of the Lagos Photo Exhibition. Memories are golden and life's all about treasuring those moments, whether they are colourful or in black and white. That's what the 12th edition of the annual Lagos Photo Exhibition is exploring with these images. Exhibition. There are uh, in this in this particular venue. There are uh, seven artists sharing, and um, and then we also launch the the exhibition for the searching for Prince Adewale Oyenuga. We invited the public to help us find the prince and the artist, and to sort of like take a postcard. Anyone you like is all free. And if you have any information on the prints, please write to us or send the postback card back. So it's an interactive exhibition. All of them are showcased for the audience to enjoy and remember that it's important not just to exist but live. As I've been coming to Lagos for the Photo Fest since 2015 and every time that I've engaged with the art or the audience, I've always thought that there is so much promise in it. Uh, in terms of the quality of the work, in terms of the printing and also the display and everything. And I think um, AAF 
as uh, the pioneering institution for the photo festival and also for the production of the works within the festival, I think has put in quite a lot of work into this. So I think that it can only get better as the years go by. Over the years, the African Artists Foundation tries to ensure that it brings themes which society can connect with as it relates with the times. The artist, you know, found the story by searching true but impossible stories on the internet. And this was, a, I think, the second one on the Google search. And she thought, why is that such a strange thing, you know, an African space mission? And so the whole research, um, the whole research really led her to create this work that is really about her own imagination, but built on this particular historical narrative. The theme about memory is something that I'm also very much interested in because my work deals a lot with memory and the idea that um, spaces, objects have these residues and ghosts within them. So I'm always trying to, in my work back in Ghana, I collect a lot of things. I think many things have, if something is old, it doesn't mean that we should discard it. I'm always interested in how we can prolong its life and how we can make it significant in a more cultural specific way. So uh, in the, towards the concept of memory, I think I'm always very much interested in the memory that is constituted within the everyday things that we use and how we can bring it into culture and how it can redefine our experiences of the world. Making memories is what adds spark to life, and the Lagos Photo Exhibition feels it's important to reiterate this through a medium which speaks louder than words. Let's take a moment now. When Art House returns, we have more excitement lined up for you, so you won't want to miss that in a moment. Stay with us. Produce works of art which are backed by ideas and philosophies calculated to help upgrade and uplift the life of the people. Your works of art reveals what this season means to you. Take a look at some of them. And these are the works of art you sent in this week. Creatives are cruising with a Christmas fever. Let's begin with My African Santa, a pen on paper work by Saul Obiocha. Then this artist says it all about Jesus, for he shall save his people, done with mixed media. 
are your daily Ajewole feels happiness is free and we should have lots of it this time of the year with this charcoal pencil on paper. Another person spreading sunshine is Lucas Kumba with The Joy in Me is Greater, done with mixed media. Our time series is an acrylic on canvas piece done by Awobusui Yomi. While Shola Ogunbi is revealing how mums make a fuss to ensure their daughters look good with this one called Mother Care. Wakil Falano says everyone should be expecting to see some August visitors this time of the year with this oil on canvas work. Then this photograph is Chinedu Maxwell's reflection for the season, especially as we prepare for the new year. And that concludes the works of Art Taste Sent in this week. We keep encouraging you to send them in, especially those Christmassy themes. Let's know how you are celebrating through the arts. Nice. It's been a while we had a performance on At House, so I figured I'll throw this one in just to add that colour to the festivities. Strings, a performance by the National Troupe at Terra Culture in Lagos. I am only a storyteller. Eh? Maybe at the end of the story, you will have answers to all your questions. <laughs> The journey to nationhood is performed by the National Troop of Nigeria with a note for everyone, unity is strength. And the class made it clear to him that their almighty white King Lugard was not transparent in presenting his heir to the throne. And the class did not waste time in expressing themselves in disagreements. The white man has been taking us for granted for too long. First, he, he, he said he had discovered our land. Next, he decides to, to structure and rule over our land. Now he claims to have a baby that does not even look like him. But then he gets to look good. He is not the reason why he's ruling us. When he came before, he told us about one of my majestic woman in his far away land. Does he give him answer on what to do? But what do we all expect? Eh? He who brings us infested firewood home, invites lizards to a feast. We did not live well among ourselves. We are always fighting one tribal war after another. Ah, but that is not enough reason for any transparent white man to come and rule over us. Is it not war that is used to overpower? I think Obi is right. No, thank you. When you fail to live at peace with your neighbors, you unwittingly bring in strangers from far away land to teach you how to do it. For the first time we have gathered together to think of what to do to the white man. But what can we do? The folk musical drama is a blend of the rich and cultural traditions of African culture. Again, rekindle the minds of Nigerians in understanding our history. 
from the colonial period to where we are today. I salute your tenacity. The message is crystal clear. Despite many challenges confronting the country, let's keep pushing because the beauty of our heritage lies in its diversity, which makes us stronger together. more amazing things remember to tune into the program next time coming up on the program we experience a group exhibition at Coco Pelli Art Gallery enjoy a maiden jury national sculpture exhibition tagged elixir at the National Museum Then, a miniature art exhibition at the Curicon Gallery, Lagos. We'll be showing you that and more on the next edition. Plus, visit our YouTube page to see all other episodes of Art House. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's the program today. Remember, you can relieve this moment online just by clicking your mobile phone. You can also see this episode on our YouTube page. I'm Melinda Akinlami, wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.